All right. Well, Cameron here with uh, Brad Abrahams, the director of Love and Saucers, and Matt Ralston, the producer of Love and Saucers. Hello. Just had a great screening. How'd you guys feel about that? Uh, it was wonderful. It was really fun. Yeah, good turnout and a great Q and A. We had someone admit that they uh, had a UFO experience. So we're two for two for screenings and UFO experiences. Not only did they admit to having one, but I believe he said his mother yeah. had one as well. His family, yeah. yeah. Now, and his brother. Yeah. Now the way he described it, it was kind of like they were from a 50s time period or something. Is this something you've heard before? Yeah, now and again, just that the, the aliens and their craft and the way that they dress is not modern. It seems to be from, from another time. Sometimes they describe it as Victorian or film noir style. Uh, but it's rarely contemporary. Yeah. yeah. It's somewhat awkward. Like yes. Out of, out, of place. out of place, yeah. So how long have you guys been working together as collaborators? These two oh, years. Yeah, only, yeah. only uh, yeah, two, two and a half years. Yeah. We did a short together, and then I helped Brad finish this up. And yeah. we have another one in the works. Cool. Talking about more. Yeah. So, yeah. Cool. And how'd you guys meet? Uh, well, we work at the same production company. It's a commercial production company, but we also do original content films like this. And we quickly realized we had a uh, mutual love of the, the strange. Yeah. yeah. Esoteric. Uh -huh. So speaking of uh, that, uh, David's story is very strange. I just want to know how you first heard about it, how you first came across this. Yeah, it was completely by chance. Uh, I was on a like cross-country uh, bus trip in Thailand and happened to be listening to the radio. And someone on the radio uh, in passing mentioned David's story. And it just sounded so bizarre. It was one line. It was, uh, yeah, that's, that's even as strange as uh, this guy who fathered space babies across the galaxy. And I, I thought, I have to remember this. Uh, I have to look it up online when I get home. I did, and there was nothing. Uh, eventually, I found his neighbor uh, or ex-neighbor that had uh, photographed some of his paintings and talked about him a little bit. And, gave me his home phone number, I called him, and the rest is history. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so can you talk a bit about how David feels about the film or being on camera telling these stories? Uh, happy. Yeah, yeah. He, yeah, he's happy. Um, it, it was time, he said, for, for people to hear the story. Very few people in the world know about it. And um, from what he's heard and seen, and even the, the beings themselves, the extraterrestrials, uh, told him they approve of the film. So will that be going on the poster? It should, and it, and yeah. we may be the we laurels for that. The only, <laughs> the only film that has had approval of extraterrestrials <laughs> that we know of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. first intergalactic uh, laurels. I yes. think maybe we could have. Yeah. yeah. And are you gentlemen working on a new project together? That we are. You we are yeah. Um, it's called Cryptozoologist, and we're going to be interviewing the foremost zoological and cryptozoological minds in the world about uh, everything from Bigfoot to extinct tigers and yeah it's, it's a fun world to dive into yeah it's and uh, bizarre and weird and yeah. wonderful it's, yeah. it sort of was um, uh, somewhat instigated from a short that we did together about Florida's Bigfoot which is the skunk ape and it's basically Bigfoot but it smells horrible <laughs> and it's weird like the rest of Florida yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm working on and have been working on a, a science film yeah. uh, a serious topic uh, science and medicine and uh, something even further out in the works is about parapsychology Fantastic. Yeah, psychic spying and all that. Cool. Well, yeah. it's been great having you guys at the festival. Yeah. Hope yeah. you had a nice time. Thank you. Uh, where can we hear more about your, your films and um, your work? Go to loveandsaucers.com about this film and uh, bradabrahams.com for my own work, cryptozoologist.org for the crypto film, and Curator Pictures for the production yeah. company. Right on. Yeah. Thanks, well, thanks guys. for joining yeah. us, guys. Thank you thanks, so much. Guys. Appreciate it. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Happy to have joined. <laughs> yes. <laughs>